fourth graders, it's Miss Watson. So the last thing we're going to do while we're drafting our story about overcoming our fear is our conclusion, okay? And conclusion is how we wrap up our whole story. Now, I know you're probably thinking, well, wait a minute, I've already written the ending to my story. Yes, you have. But your conclusion is your final way to kind of reflect on your story, okay? So we're just gonna go over a few things that a good conclusion has. So a good conclusion, you're gonna hook your reader back in, okay? So you're gonna think of another creative way to hook your reader back in. So if in the beginning you wrote a hook that asked the reader a question, are you afraid of spiders? Then you may wanna choose something else as your hook this time. You may wanna choose um, something that has sound noises, an action, um, dialogue, dialogue, remember, is something that you may say in your story, okay? So this is your last chance to get your reader's attention before um, before your, your story is over, okay? So you're going to have a hook. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to reflect on your experience. You're going to talk about what you learned from the experience, okay? So in life, we learn lots of lessons, okay? You may learn... I need to be nice to everyone. Of course, that wouldn't really fit into this situation, but I want you to think about what you learned from this fear and how you overcame it, okay? So for example, I learned being on stage isn't as scary as I thought, okay? So I'm reflecting about my story. I learned spiders help keep bugs away, okay? So just anything you learned from your story. All right, lastly, you're gonna just reflect on how this experience made you feel, okay? So what I like to do when I'm reflecting on that is I like to use figurative language because I feel like it paints a really good picture in the reader's head of how you're feeling, okay? So an example is overcoming my fear made me as proud as a first place winner. So I'm comparing myself to a first place winner, okay? You could say something like, overcoming my fear makes me as happy as a kid on Christmas. Okay, you're comparing yourself to a kid on Christmas. Okay, so I want you to think about how you want to write your conclusion and some of the things that we talked about that need to be inside of it to kind of wrap up your story.